independent panel appointed by the federal government is about to recommend that healthy men should not get the PSA blood test, calling it unreliable. And some health groups say that recommendation could lead, in their estimation, to more cancer deaths. Next to skin cancer, prostate cancer is the most common type found in men. More than 240,000 men will be diagnosed with it this year. 34,000 will die. Our medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, is here with more this morning. Um, so this comes as a, as a surprise probably to a lot of people that there would be a recommendation against a test which screens for this. What's behind this? Right. A surprise maybe to the lay public, Erica, but definitely not to the medical community. This has been brewing for quite some time. First, let's look at what this test is. It's called the PSA, which stands for prostate-specific antigen. Simple blood test that measures a protein made by prostate cells not always cancer indicating. Now, what we expect the new recommendations to show are that men under the age of 75, now this is a D-grade test, which means <clears throat> don't do it, um, because in their estimation, the harm of this test really outweighs the benefit. We should point out that men over the age of 75 are already recommended not to get this screening test. They've been debating the benefits of this PSA test for so long. Why, you know, why is there such controversy here? It either is good or it isn't. Why? Well, again, and we see this in a lot of fields of medicine and we saw it with the mammography debate in 2009. The problem with this PSA, some groups are saying, of course, it is not a highly accurate test. There can be false positives, leading to unnecessary biopsies, surgery, radiation with significant consequences like incontinence and impotence. There also can be false negatives. A man can get a normal result when, in fact, there is cancer. The endpoint in particular that this group is looking at is whether or not this test save lives, saves lives, and that is what is being debated now. All right, Jen, thanks. thanks